Just like humans, bacteria need water, food, and shelter to survive. But unlike humans, bacteria not only live in water, they thrive in it, especially in natural water sources like rivers, lakes, ponds, and oceans. Agriculture accounts for 42% of our nation's total water use, and most of that is untreated irrigation water from wells or surface sources. Of course, the bacteria and the pathogens living in the water go every place the irrigation water goes, potentially spreading to our food crops and sometimes making it all the way to the consumer. Thankfully, the 2011 Federal Food Safety Modernization Act, or FESMA, helps protect producers and consumers by establishing criteria for the minimum safety of irrigation water. While water sampling and testing techniques for irrigation water measure how much bacteria, such as generic E. coli, is present. The presence of these pathogens could create particular problems for producers of crops that are eaten raw, such as berries, fruits, and leafy greens. If contaminated irrigation water comes in direct contact with these foods, bacteria, including pathogens, may be transferred to the produce increasing the risk of cross-contamination on food contact surfaces, foodborne illnesses, and possible food recall. That's why compliance with the 2011 Federal Food Safety Modernization Act is so important to everyone. In the long run, safer irrigation water means more profitable agriculture and a safer food supply for everyone to enjoy. To get the most updated information about water regulations and much more, reach out to your local Cooperative Extension Office.